Okay. Drunk girlfriend issue. This is the last one on the on the podcast. Hey, Billy Bob Burton. Um, I'm a big fan of yours, fellow Bostonian suburb guy as well, and I love the podcast. I have some relationship issues that I'd like your input on. If you would be so kind, you fuck. <laughs> All right, I've been dating my girlfriend for over four years. I am 26, she's 25. We moved in together in September 2013 because I thought things were going well. Well, we have some issues and I'm not sure what to do. Besides the usual fights over things where I think logically and present my side of the argument well with facts that are relative to the subject and she rambles about how I'm a mama's boy and have a small dick. Um... Well, yeah, I guess, in other words, you're probably right. So she's just capitulated, and then I was just insulting you. Granted, this is your version of it. Anyways, he said, my biggest issue is her drinking. More specifically, how she acts when she's drunk. When we are drinking in public, set, sitting, not setting, sitting with a large group of people, she drinks too much and always blacks out. This is typically not a normal thing. It only happens once uh, every few months, but over the holiday season, it happened every weekend while at company Christmas parties, hers and mine, friends' houses, and while on a pub crawl. I have two big issues with her blacking out like that. One is that it's usually she only drinks excessively when other people, mainly her bitchy best friend, insist that my girlfriend should drink a lot, even though my girlfriend has a very low tolerance for alcohol. It's to the point that her best friend will say things to her like, if you don't take this shot, I hate you, slash, you're not my friend. Jesus Christ. And she's being serious. I have spoken with my girl repeatedly about how I feel that that's not a good idea or right to allow her friend to do that to her, and my girlfriend replies that she's not going to say no to her best friend no matter what. Jesus Christ. This is like a textbook codependent relationship here. Um... My second issue is that when she blacks out, once I get her in the, cab, the, the car or cab to take her home, she gets really quiet and starts saying she hates our relationship, she hates me, she hates living with me, she wishes we would break up, among other similar things. Once she sleeps it off and wakes up hung, hungover, she has no recollection of what she said to me the night prior, and she says that drunk words, they're drunk words and they mean nothing. Oh, God. I do not think that way. It legitimately hurts my feeling and his feelings and it has happened so often recently that I've been weighing my options about whether it's time to end this relationship and move on. I'm not sure. I'm just being a pushy and need to get over it or if I have a legitimate gripe here. Dude, you totally have a legitimate gripe. He says, I care about my girlfriend a lot and until recently I was beginning to think about proposing marriage to her at some point. Dude, you cannot on any fucking level propose to this girl with this shit on the table right now. He said, I had planned it in my head that if we were going to live together for two years, then we had the right stuff for marriage. Uh, with all this drinking stuff, though, I'm not sure where to go. If you have any tips or advice, I'd greatly appreciate it. Go fuck yourself. Can't wait to see a new special in 2014. Hope you perform in Boston. All right. Yeah, dude. Um, first things first, do not on any level propose marriage to this woman at all on any fucking level. Um, what you have to do is you got to put your foot down. All right, you have to say both things that you brought up, provided you're being honest with me, uh, you are 100% in the right. And you have to just say, look, um, you can't drink like that anymore. And you can't have a relationship with your friend like that anymore. Um, actually, you can because you are a free individual. But if you're going to be, then I, I want out of this relationship. I'm not going to be with somebody who drinks like that and more specifically drinks like that because her friend is making a drink like that. And second of all, you know, I don't, I, I, I don't, you know, there's an expression out there that, what does it say? Uh, a drunk man's words or a sober man's thoughts. I don't know. I, I would, oh shit, this is Bartnick. Hold on one second. Hang on, hang on. Joey B, just wrapping up the podcast. I'll be outside in two minutes, okay? All right, see you. Um, yeah, so I would basically uh, – okay, so let's just compartmentalize this thing, okay? If that first issue, just the drinking thing, I would just lay down the gauntlet. You, if you, if you want to be with me 
And, you know, I'm not going to be in a relationship with that going on. That's unacceptable. I respect the fact if you still want to do it, but if you still want to do it, then you're moving out or I'm moving out, and we're not going to be a couple anymore because I'm not tolerating that. And you're well within your right to do that, and it's a great thing to say at 26 years of old to get some sort of self-esteem within a relationship and have some ground rules with yourself. This is your half of the circle. What do I want, and what am I willing to put up with? Where is my line? You found your line, and you tell her that that's where it is, you don't have to be a jerk. You don't have to get angry. Just say, this is my line. And I totally respect if you want to live on the other side of the line, I'm just not going to live with you doing that. Um, this other shit where she gets, she says she hates the relationship and wishes that you broke up. Um, if it happened one time, whatever, she does that every fucking time. I think those are her honest words. And I honestly would seriously consider getting the fuck out of that relationship. Um, I think you, you guys have both been in a relationship for a long time. You got into it when you were really young. Maybe she still wants to see, explore, see what the fuck's out there. I have no idea, but that is a major, major fucking red flag. Um, and uh, I don't buy it. And I also don't buy that she's 100% drinking like that because her friend is making her do it. Uh, I think she wants to drink like she, maybe she's drinking like that because she's not happy in the relationship. I don't know. There's a bunch of major red flags and you are 100% in the right. You're not being a pussy. You're being fucking mature and you're, you're saying what you want. Fuck this dude. You don't want some drunk with some drunk fucking friend who then gets hammered and says they don't want to be with you. When you dream, is that your dream girl? When you sit there in fantasy, kick this bitch to the curb. I've had it with her. I'm not even in the fucking relationship. You could do better. All right. I'm not saying she's not the one, but she needs to grow the fuck up. Don't say it like that. But that, that's what I believe. And that's, that's my thoughts, and I'm sticking with it.